Hey everyone, welcome to the best of the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show for 2014. We're gonna take you from Alabama to Florida to Texas, all over the country for the best tournaments, the best weigh-ins, the best product spotlights, the best new engine, and the best boats of 2014. Stay with us, we'll be right back. The Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show. Welcome back. As we look back at the best of 2014 on the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show, you know, it's fun to look at all these tournaments on all these different lakes, and there's nobody better than our own Vance McCullough on the banks of the St. John River to help us look back. Thanks, John. I can't believe the 2014 tournament season is almost in the books. What a year it has been. Along the way, we had the pleasure to speak with Kevin Van Dam, Greg Hackney, Mark Davis, Keith Combs, who won his third Toyota Texas Bass Classic. And folks, these guys taught us techniques. They showed us their favorite lures on their favorite lakes. And we had the privilege to share all of that with you. We also had the opportunity to cover some great, great fisheries throughout the country this year. One of them being in your backyard, Vance, the St. Johns River. The St. John's River in March, wow, what a great time to visit an outstanding bass fishery. A lot of patterns in play at that time of year. Chris Lane found a pattern he really liked when the Elite Series stopped here. Take a look at these highlights. It's hard to beat the relaxing scenery of the St. John's River, but with a six-figure payday at stake, North Carolina's Britt Myers wishes he was having just a little bit more fun. Back at the weigh-in, a crowd of thousands is ready to see some big St. John's River bass. They were not disappointed. Alton Jones brought fans to their feet with this big bass. Chris Lane had a stretch of water to himself. On day two, he brought in a whopping 37-pound sack that put him out front, and he never turned loose of the lead. 15 pounds, even with 90 pounds, 13 ounces, Chris Lane brings the pain. Today I knew that I needed to stay focused, put my power pulls down, and just really catch fish, and it worked. And I stayed with it all day, and I knew that 15 pounds was really my goal, honestly, because I would much rather have $100,000 than a century club and have 100 pounds. Stay with us after the break as we look back at some of the best tournaments across the country, including some interesting facts you may or may not know, all when the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show returns. This portion of the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show is presented by Progressive, a leader in boat insurance. Brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. See for yourself by going to rangerboats.com and by your local Sportsman's Warehouse, featuring quality Rapala baits, lures, apparel, and more. The Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show returns right after this. As we continue to look back at some of the best of tournaments that we covered for you this past year, we also are gonna take a minute to look back at some of the best products that were showcased to you this year by some of the best pros in the business. You know, one of the new lures out for this year <laughs> is a jig. Now, a jig has been is one of the, you know, standbys for ever since there's been bass fishing or bass have been chased, you know, people have thrown jigs at them. But, um, you know, a new jig out for Strike King this year is the structure jig. This is a jig that pretty much fits the niche for anything you need to do jig fishing wise with the exception of flipping like heavy cover or swim jig fishing. But like to fill in the cracks, whether I'm fishing deep brush piles, flipping boat dots with a jig, anytime that it calls for lighter line applications. And for me, lighter line is 20 pounds or smaller. Um, you know, when I'm using fluorocarbon or using monofilament, this jig has a zero degree line tie. It's almost like just pulling an open hook into those fish. That hook point's gonna stick somewhere before it gets out because you've got all that bite. I can throw it where I would throw a football jig. It's gonna be that jig that I'm gonna have tied on all the time in a situation when I'm not even throwing a jig. So when I do need to pick one up, it's gonna be that do-all. It's a new bait for 2014. It's called a cutter worm. And this is in the rage line. And it's pretty simple looking. It's a nice little bodied worm. Got a little flat kind of, I'll call it the dipsy do tail. And it's got that nice little rage flange on it. So it's got a lot of vibration. It gives you the opportunity to fish this bait traditionally, pitching it in grass, pitching it in cover as a soft plastic bait. 
but this has become my new spinnerbait. That little tail says has a nice little vibration to it. I've got a quarter ounce sinker, a straight shank, uh, about a number four aught um, worm hook. I'm throwing it on a seven foot four inch Team Lose rod with the new BB1 Pro. Make the cast, throw it at a target, and I simply just wind. That it's little like tail, it, it, it's, it's a plastic spinnerbait. And when this little small, subtle bait comes thumping by them, it's just like a spinnerbait. The bite's really cool, it's just a boop, or your line just takes off and heads south with it. You gotta use the right equipment. I've got a seven foot, 10 inch crankbait rod uh, that I've designed. It's a composite rod that's half glass, half graphite. And what I love about that is the way that this rod unloads. It helps me physically throw the bait a lot further with a lot less effort. So, you know, I've got a big reel with a wide spool and the mechanics of the cast are very simple. It's very much like a golf swing. You don't have to swing hard to make it go a long ways, but you gotta have a big follow through. So I'll just kind of wind up and you try to get the wind at your back just like this. I wanna throw across the wind or downwind if possible on any spot that I set up on. It just makes that bait balance out real well. You know, this is a Strike King 6XD and it's designed to cast real well. It's balanced out real well. So I'm gonna leave a little line hanging. I'm gonna make a full, long swing with a full extension, just like you'd swing a baseball bat or a golf club. You gotta follow through to get a really long cast. When I make a really long cast like that, that bait's gonna get down to the bottom a lot quicker and it's gonna stay there in that zone for a, for a lot longer period of time. And that's the key to deep cranking. And those product spotlights would not be possible without our great partnership with Sportsman's Warehouse. So a huge thank you goes out to them. That's right, Vance. Without our valued sponsors, none of what we're able to show you each and every week would be possible. So we would like to thank them and thank you, our viewers, who patronize these fine supporters of our sport and the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show. You know, we travel across the country highlighting tournaments of national and, more importantly, local interest. We cover many regional tournaments with great team trails. Here are some highlights from those tournaments in 2014. Well, we had 166 boats today at Lake Murray. Uh, as you see, the sun's out. It was supposed to rain, and it may still rain, but right now we got nice, sunshiny weather, and that's what these guys wanted. We don't have any wind. That's, that's going to affect the fishing a lot. You know, once again, we've had a good crowd. We're having good support. The, Today we're gonna to pay back around $36,000, $37,000. You know, we, we're seeing people from all over come fish the CBC. A word spread around. It, it's been a real popular trail and it, it's, it's doing nothing but growing. And you know, when we got people coming back, you know we're doing the right thing. We're, and we're doing some little things to try to, to tweak it and make it even better for the guys. And, and hopefully we'll keep growing. And uh, you know, it's a lot of hard work, but it, you know, we got a group of guys, we have a lot of, a lot of fun putting it on together. Lake Murray sure lived up to its reputation on this day, with the top five spots all having over 20 pound sacks. Well, we're up here at Smith Mountain Lake, um, fishing the Oakley Big Bass Tournament. There was some really good fish weighed in, seven, three, six, that's what's leading. I was fortunate enough to get one. Uh, the first hour I had one that weighed five, six, three, and uh, I got second place. Somebody beat me out by 2.5 ounces. Uh, if I catch a fish, I tell you what, I'm gonna dance a little bit for the camera. <laughs> now it's on. Back and forth from spot to spot, top water, jigs, worms. The bite really slowed until. Got him dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. He ain't much, but darn, he's a fish. <laughs> he ain't even 14 inches. That's 14. I don't know, but he's a fish. And <laughs> get like this. <laughs> That's for the people at home. Sorry it took so long. Mmm, but it's a fish. <laughs> I bet I got you beat. That ain't gonna win the Oakley Big Bass, but. No. <laughs> but. It's a fish. Well, hurry up. You gotta, you gotta get another one. After a few more tries, it was time to weigh in. There's a fish in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just tried to... Is that a bluegill? <laughs> it's a big bass tournament, Ralph. Don't, no? don't laugh. We caught one of those. Seriously? 151. 151. Now, let's just see who got the biggest one. Right. Me or my dad. I know. Here's Ralph Holyfield Sr. Don't you... That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> 177. He got it! Oh, oh man. man. That's a long... <laughs> Two hour ride. 
enough, guys. The Potash Fishback Tournament, sponsored by the Potash Company, brought out 149 teams to Clarks Hill Lake in southeast Georgia. Joey Brennix explains. We've got two major charities that we sponsor. One is North Augusta Youth Fishing Team, and it's youth from ages 11 to 18. And it's a private team, but it's to sponsor and support the, the growth of the youth fishing and to get them going and, and, and grow the sport. I'm Janine Wilson. I'm the team mom for the North Augusta Fishing Team. We've got 22 kids. They go from 11 years old to 18 years old, and they love to fish. They're all outdoorsmen. The team started about four years ago. We've got middle schoolers and high schoolers. We participate in conservation projects, like the one we're doing today with the Potash Fish Back Tournament, putting the fish habitats in the water, just to expand the fish growth in our area. And then the other major charity we'd use is GOCA, which is Georgia ovarian cancer alliance and so they're based out of Atlanta Georgia and it was just a really good fit to do something for cancer and so we chose ovarian cancer oh, we really pulled this uh, tournament together to try to support ovarian cancer support the community in general and just get the words ovarian cancer out there the third component of what we do is the environmental impact to the lake itself where we put out the artificial fish habitats and the structures which is going to help the, the young fry and the fish grow and provide a structure for them and the smaller microphyte and algae to grow on that will give them a food source to continue to grow in the lake. It's uh, vinyl siding and the cutoffs and the leftover material is something that we've never been able to utilize and it's not anything that any of the recycling companies are taking back. We realized that we could clean it up, cut it up into different varieties and sizes and lengths and utilize it underwater for the fish. Overcast conditions in the morning lead to sunshine and blue skies by way in time as the anglers brought their catch to the scales. Didn't get a fish till about 8 o'clock, but then when 8 o'clock hit, it's like somebody turned the light switch on. We were just fishing as hard as we could, throwing on points and humps, finding rocks, gravel, grass, pulling the Carolina rig, just doing what we could. It was rough today. It was tough. We had all of our fish by 11 o'clock and then it just shut down, so we had to kind of grind them out, but it paid off today. Of course, the big winners of this tournament are the charities, but Trey Beck and Sammy Landrum took home $10,000 with a winning weight of 24.28 pounds, as well as an additional $1,000 for big fish with a whopping 8.26 pounds. There's a whole lot more as we look back at the best of 2014 right after this. Today's show is presented by Progressive Insurance. Just ask Flo. She knows how to save on boat insurance. Sponsored by Evan Rood, proven power, proven reliability. By Buckeye Lures, specializing in custom-made baits. And by Stratos Boats. Inspiration runs deep. The Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show returns right after this. Welcome back as we continue to review the 2014 and the best of this 2014 season. You know, someone asked earlier this year, what's the best bass boat motor combination on the market today? And needless to say, we're a little bit prejudiced, but it makes the decision that much easier when you go out on the water and you test drive the new Ranger Z521C combined with the new Evinrude E-Tech G2. Take a look. Hello, I'm Keith Daffrin with Ranger Boats. I'm here today to show you a package that is unprecedented in the world of bass fishing. What you see behind me is the Ranger Evinrude Hero Package. Yeah, I said hero as in superhero. The introduction of Evinrude's new G2 outboard has afforded us the opportunity to partner with an engine supplier that can build a motor tailored specifically for this particular uh, bass boat, the Z521C. What you see about the G2, I won't spend a lot of time and energy talking about all of the attributes that the motor has, but one that I will point out is the fact that you can custom color match your motor to match your boat. To that point that we went to Evinrude and partnered with them to, to develop this very color, this graphite gray, to match the boat itself, hence the Hero Package. In fact, the only way you can get this Hero boat is with this Hero outboard. We take that not only into the motor itself, you see it here on the setback plate, all the way up into the consoles, which have been post-painted to match this very outboard. Couple that with some other neat ingredients that we put on the boat, such as black bullet 17-inch racing wheels and other attributes. So go ask your dealer about the new Ranger Avenue Hero package. I think you'll be impressed. 
Another team trail we paid close attention to in 2014 is the ever popular and growing Alabama Bass Trail. Tournament director Kay Donaldson and her team have done a phenomenal job. Take a look. We're, uh, we're going out today to find some of the contestants uh, fishing the Alabama Bass Trail Tournament Series. And it's cold, it's some of the coldest water temperatures we've had at Gunnersville. We're at 38.7. Conditions did warm up throughout the day. I had a chance to catch up with tournament director Kay Donaldson before a weigh in to talk about this brand new and exciting team trail. You know, we have 200 boats we sold out in 72 days, and we probably could have filled a, uh, put about 250 boats in the field if we had wanted to, but we want to ensure that these guys have a great quality experience and that we showcase our lakes the very best that we can. So we have 400 highly competitive anglers out here, and so um, these guys are, are, are trying to get that $10,000 paycheck and also those most valuable points to get them to the championship. You know, they're ready for this trail this year, but they're looking for it to grow, and, and we're so excited. These guys, you know, you can get all the sponsors you want to, and we have some of the best in the industry but if you don't have those red and green lights out there in the morning when you get ready to blast off it's not a tournament trail and these guys believe in us they've showed a lot of confidence in us and uh, we're here to put on a great show but we're going to pay out over four hundred thousand dollars this year um, and we've got seven states represented in our trail we're looking for a bass that's over six pounds 6.08 did you get it 6.12 you got the new big bat Woo! you think seven or eight i don't know she is kind of skinny that thing could be fatter i know it's the biggest one i've ever caught that's the only thing i know Let's see some under guessing. Well, would we have a 10? It's not a seven. It's not an eight. It's not even a nine. 10.13 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. You are the worst guesser for big fish in the history of the Alabama Bass Trail. Brandon Staggs, Jerry Wright, five fish limit. That's what you were looking for, right guys? Yes, sir. When did you get them? All day. All day. How many total bass did you catch? I don't even know. What's they gonna weigh? Don't look. 27, you're liars. Our leaders are 29.92. I say our leaders were 29.92. 32.02 pounds for Stags and Wright. Some great weights were seen coming in on Gunnersville, as expected, with the top five teams all having over 25 pounds. The Texas Team Trail is another great organization that provides a terrific opportunity to fish some of Texas's storied waters, competing with local weekend anglers, semi-pros, and pros alike. Well, we're glad to see the Texas Team Trail come to Lake Livingston and expose the lake a little bit, but uh, we're going uh, around. We've got some fish located. We got a pretty good plan today. We, we're still trying to decide whether we're going to start way up the river and run toward the dam or go to the dam and run way up the river. There's going to be a little bit of wind, but uh, most of the water we're going to fish is protected, so we're not really worried about the wind. More than 150 teams hit the water waiting for safe daylight to blast off to their starting spots. As the sun came up, we talked with anglers on the water. Well, we're going to run way north up the river, fish a lot of backwater. A lot of shallow water pitching. I uh, had quite a few bites here in practice up there. Um, it's just going to be a lot of running and jumping is all we're going to be doing. Junk fishing is what they call it. As the weigh-in approached, there were many nice bags of Texas bass weighed in. Families gathered to cheer on the winners. And speaking of the winners, our guys Randy Dearman and Kevin Mason had a great day. Well, we had a little rough ride across the lake. We headed down toward the dam, pulled in a little pocket that kind of gets fished pretty heavy. We figured it'd be, you know, two or three people we were so late going out. We got in there said, ain't nobody in here. I said, what's the deal? I said, maybe they canceled the tournament because of the wind. I said, I don't know. I said, I ain't ever been here with nobody here. Well, we fished all day and never seen a tournament boat. We fished three or four different creeks, never seen one boat. I think a lot of them are just, you know, they didn't like the rough water. You know, like I said, wind's your friend. It'll keep them out of there. That's where we want it. Great strategy, guys. Your top five all weighed in over 15 pounds. Stay up with the latest on the Texas Team Trail and all other trails by logging on to anglerschannel.com. Stay with us as Vance and I wrap up the season with some ones to watch. Stay with us. You're watching the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show, presented by Progressive Insurance, a leader in boat insurance. Sponsored by Snagproof, supplying anglers since 1961. By Ranger Boats. By Evan Root. By Buckeye Lures. By Stratus Boats. And by Sportsman's Warehouse. The Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show returns right after this.
It's been a great year for bass fishing, and like always, the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show has been there to keep you up to date. Let's take a look at some of the biggest winners from this past year. Like hometown hero Anthony Gagliardi taking home $500,000 in the Forestwood Cup on Lake Murray outside of Columbia. Keith Combs winning for the second straight year at the Toyota Texas Bass Classic on Lake Fork. Randy Howell winning $300,000 at the Bassmasters Classic back in February. And angler Greg Hackney leading the points race for Angler of the Year. Vance, who are the ones to watch in 2015? Aaron Martins may get his mail in Alabama now, but he's a California native, and the Bassmaster Elite Series will feature a stop on the Sacramento River and one on Lake Havasu. Not like A. Martin needs a head start, he's probably the best angler on the planet right now. Speaking of Californians, Cody Meyer over on the FLW Tour nearly won the Angler of the Year this year. He's gonna continue to fish well. I don't care if they hold a bass tournament on Mars, Cody Meyer will come in with a big sack of fish. Among the guys who fished both tours, Casey Ashley is currently 10th on the Elite Series, and Casey finished 12th on the FLW Tour and came real close to winning the Forestwood Cup. I look for Casey Ashley to carry that momentum into a strong 2015 campaign. Regardless of who the winners are, we're gonna bring you all the best bass action right here on the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show. Thanks, Vance, as always, and thank you for tuning in each and every week for what's been the best year ever for the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show. You know, don't forget, all this tournament information we cover each and every week on this show, you can access online at www.anglerschannel.com. From the entire team at the Progressive Bass Wrap-Up Show, we look forward to seeing you in 2015.